Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times Crossword for Wednesday, March 16th, 2022. Before we get started, take a look at the grid here. This is an unmistakable shape of some kind of bird, isn't it? It could be a duck or maybe even a goose. I am super excited to get started on this one. All right, let's see what kind of bird we have here. One across. Duck? <laughs> that is a great start for our possibly duck-themed puzzle. Um, I wonder if this is about the animal or is it about actually ducking your head or something? Um, hmm, it couldn't be like mallard. That would be too long. Let's take a look at these downs. High-rise units abbreviated. Is that just going to be apartments? Blank Parmigiana? Um, I guess that's some kind of cheese. I think this is Italian. I'm not sure what would go before that. Like many a barrel-aged wine. Maybe that could be oaky? Let's see if that's right. Let's look at this short across here. Strategically evasive. Yeah, that should be sly. Word of leave taking. So this is something you would say to say goodbye. Is that going to be peace? That's what you say when you take your leave. Yeah. Hmm. Rocks in a tumbler. Rocks is a slang term for ice. Molds, e.g. Hmm, this is kind of ambiguous. It could be molds that you would use to create a casting of something. It could be like mold growing on something. It could be the verb to mold. Yeah, there's a lot of possibilities here. Duck. Oh, that could be avoid. It could be duck the verb. That's so funny. Okay. Yeah, let's just skip this one. Um... All right, well, let's take a look at our first long across here. Oh my God, it's duck again. That's so funny. All right, it looks like this bird shape in the center is definitely going to be a duck. And maybe the theme is there's a whole bunch of clues that are just clued as duck. And we're going to be learning how many different meanings the word duck can actually have. Yeah, so this is going to start with take, I guess. Um, duck. Hmm, I'm not sure how it should end. Let's start in this little section here. Imaginary ordinal. That's going to be nth. You can raise something to the nth power. It's like the maximum extent. Henceforth, I blank will be Romeo. Um, I guess this is a quote from Romeo and Juliet. I don't recognize this one. Is it never? I'm not sure. Keep close to one's heart. That should be treasure, right? No blank, no foul. That's no harm, no foul. Swing blank, 1933 to 47. I guess that would probably be the swing era. Um, duck. Oh, is that going to be take cover? Nice, okay. Maybe it is going to be never... What's this across here? Handout for a walking tour. That could be an area map. Molds. Could it be decays? Yeah, it's a verb after all. Mike of Shrek. Mike Myers was the voice of Shrek. So that gives us or. It's mind, all mind. <laughs> this is a funny kind of exclamation mark clue. What is mind? It's or. I really like how cheeky that is. This puzzle has a very good sense of humor so far. Heavenly prefix. Ooh, it's a prefix? And it starts with a U? That's interesting. I'm not sure what that's going to be. Examine. Could that be I? You're eyeing something up and down? Tampa Bay Pro. Um, I guess maybe they're talking about baseball here. That could be a Ray. The Tampa Bay Rays. 
So is this going to be another duck this long across? No, it's not. Big snarl. Hmm. Are they talking about a traffic jam? Or like a snarl from a dog? I'm not sure. It's blank. We're on. That could be, it's a date. Blank duck. <laughs> okay, we have another duck here, but there's something before it. Um, it's not dark wing duck. Hmm, I don't know. Laceless shoes. That should be slip-ons, right? Oh, you know what this is gonna be? It's a capital D here. So this is a proper noun. It's gonna be Donald Duck. Yeah, one of the most famous ducks of them all. Okay, we've got another duck. Um, hmm. Is this about avoiding again? I'm not sure. Tablecloths and napkins. That could be linen. It could be a problem. Is that gonna be an issue? What a flat B palm facing a nearby fellow stands for in ASL. Um, it looks like it has to be his, right? I don't know what else could end in IS like this. Let's just guess his. Duck, okay. Maybe this could be shirk. Your shirking responsibility, ducking responsibility. A lot of these are about avoiding. <laughs> Okay, pick sharing app informally. That's definitely Insta for Instagram. The second R in JRR Tolkien. I don't think I know this. This string of letters looks a little unusual here. R-E-U. Hmm. Prepare to proof in baking. Okay, that'll be need. Cozy spot? Oh, you could have a spot of tea. That's cozy. Ooh, so this is Ruel. Oh man, I never would have guessed that. All right, let's come back over to the left side of the puzzle near this duck's beak here. Butterfly, also called a common tiger or wanderer. Is that gonna be a monarch? That fits very nicely. Total disarray. That has to be chaos, right? Street blank, rep. That should be street cred. What to call a man in Mannheim? Mannheim is in Germany, so that would be Herr. That's the word for Mr. in German. Like cheese puffs and rice cakes? I guess those would both be airy, maybe? Yeah. So we have a rain attachment for a bit, yeah. Print oopsies, <laughs> that is errata. Those are errors in a printed book, yeah. Wet wood woe, there's a lot of alliteration there. Um, I guess that would be dry rot. It's kind of ironic that it's called dry rot even though it's about wet wood. Okay, maybe we can do these along downs here in direct confrontation. I really want this to be toe to toe. Let's see if that's right. Average mark, yeah, that's a C on your report card. Used as a dining surface, that should be eight on. Duck EG, okay, we have another duck. Um, so for this one, duck is an example of something. What would a duck be an example of? Hmm, it could still be duck as a verb here. I don't know. The duck variations playwright? <laughs> um, I haven't heard of this. Is it gonna be Mamet? He's a famous playwright. I'm just gonna guess it and see if we can build off of it. Yeah. Something a duck lays. Yeah, that's an egg. Very good. Fine, stay angry then, an equivalent phrase. Um, I guess it could just be, be mad. <laughs> That's kind of an equivalent, right? Mission to remember in San Antonio. We're all supposed to remember the Alamo, right? Skittish. 
Hmm. What is that going to be? Skittish. I'm not sure. Mexican Pal, that's going to be an Amigo. Duck, that's going to be Dodge, yet another synonym for Avoid. Skittish. Okay, maybe that's Timid. So we have Eli, Cotton Gin Inventor Whitney. Yes, the classic Eli. So what is this? Oh, it's going to be a bath toy, a rubber duck. Yeah, that's Ernie's favorite bath toy. Okay, C's and Da's. So this is Spanish and Russian. I guess those are yeses, plural. Yeah. All right, let's come back over here, see if we can build through this section. Um, hmm, I'm still not sure what this is gonna be. Interesting, perpetual. So this is gonna be like never ending, nonstop maybe. Yeah, that's really good. Big snarl. Okay, so maybe this is gonna be rat's nest, like a big mess or something. Be in a mood and brood. Could that be stew? Yeah, brood like a hen or maybe even a duck. <laughs> yeah, list ender abbreviated. Yeah, that's at all. Transmit, that should be send. And opening on Christmas Eve. And this is a wordplay clue. So maybe it's gonna be twas the night before Christmas. That's pretty funny. Is this Tana? Largest lake in Ethiopia. Ooh, I haven't heard of this one before, Lake Tana. I guess it has to be right, yeah. Has in hand, that should be holds. Coat room fixture. I think that should be a hanger, right? Wait a minute, is it spelled A-R or E-R? Is this where you put airplanes, A-R? Maybe it's ER for a hanger that you would hang a coat on. Oh my god, I'm not sure now. <laughs> I guess we'll find out when we get to the acrosses down there. Lightning strike. That should be a zap. Scene of pandemonium. I guess that's a zoo. Chance of a lifetime say. Hmm. Is it going to start with one? A chance of a lifetime. Hmm, I'm not sure about this one. Pig pen. That's gonna be a sty. We've got some messy areas today. A rat's nest in a sty. Editors forget I wrote that. Yeah, that's stet. Yeah, that's an indication to revert a change that was made previously. Sanctified. Okay, that's gonna be holy. I guess that's kind of related to Urano. This is the heavenly prefix, huh? Urano. I don't think I can think of a word that starts with Urano. That's so interesting. Okay, so what do we have here? We have a stooge? Duck. Hmm. Stooge. That's so interesting. I can't think of something that would have to do with a stooge. Let's do some of these downs here. Bugs and Daffy. Daffy Duck in the Iceman Ducket, e.g. Um, I don't think I'm familiar with this cartoon. Yeah, let's see if we can get some of these acrosses. Duck Duck Follower? Hey, look at that, we made the duck-themed puzzle. That's Duck Duck Goose, right? So it's not a hanger at all. Maybe that's why Stooge looks so weird. Um, coat Room Fixture. Okay, so maybe it's like a peg? Because this is not one Sean, right? That should be one shot. Okay, so this is a hat peg. There we go. Um, stoop? Oh yeah, this is ducking your head. So maybe that's gonna be stoop down? Yeah, let's see if that's right. Swiss author of Elements of Algebra. Oh boy. Um, is that going to be Euler? He was a famous mathematician. Yeah, let's see if that's right. This is going to be a duo. Oh, yeah, I guess they're a duo. 
musician's chance to shine, perhaps. That's got to be a solo. Flabbergasts or gobsmacks. That should be Oz. And memo subject header. Yeah, that should be in Ray. So what do we have here? Psy for Raphael's weapon in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah, that's right. He had Psy's. Excellent. Well, let's throw that I in there and see if that'll do it for this fabulous duck-themed puzzle. All right, a Wednesday puzzle in 19 minutes. I guess it's not super surprising that we breezed through a duck-themed puzzle. Yeah, what a special treat to have a theme built around our fine feathered cousins, the duck. We even got a little goose shout out at the end here. That is fantastic. That is the cherry on top of this theme. So how many theme answers did we have? I think it's going to be too many for me to remember. There was so many sprinkled throughout the grid here. We had a lot that had to do with avoiding things, that kind of meaning of duck. We had avoid, take cover, shirk. I think we had dodge down here, right? Stoop down is kind of about avoiding things as well. We also had some famous ducks here, Donald. We also had Daffy Duck in this clue for duo. Yeah, I absolutely love how many ducks they managed to cram into the clues here. For a bird fan like me, this puzzle was a real treat. Even though the myriad of duck clues was definitely the highlight of this puzzle, there was some other fill that I liked too. I really liked Monarch and Toe to Toe here. That was a nice piece of fill. And I also liked the cheeky clues for Or. It's mind, all mind. It's got a little bit of a supervillain flair to it. And I also liked this cozy clue for T, a cozy spot. Yeah, that's very nice. And they were kind enough to give us some quotation marks to clue us into that little bit of wordplay. All right, well, this is a puzzle I'm definitely going to treasure. I hope you enjoyed solving that one along with me. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the marquee-themed puzzle of the week, the Thursday. And I think that's going to do it for now. All right. I'll see you next time. <laughs>